I am an amateur cook. I only started learning to cook in quarantine because I couldn't get the food I wanted. What are we cooking today? Shrimp and grits! One of my favorite top 10 dishes. I have 24 hours to research a dish before going into the kitchen the next day to cook the dish. No notes, no recipe in front of me, no nada. First thing I need to do is figure out what the fuck grits actually are. What are grits? Made from boiled cornmeal in a process called nix nixtamalization. <laughs> You know, nixtamalization. Grits are more complicated than you would have thought. I don't want to devein the shrimp. Don't make me do that. Come on. So tomorrow I have to devein the shrimp. Not looking forward to that part. Disaster will strike. When I heard that I was cooking shrimp and grits, I was like, oh, that's easy. How hard could this be? And I actually didn't prepare much for today, which now I'm frustrated because I didn't do my homework properly. Stone brown white cornmeal. It doesn't say that they're grits made from boiled cornmeal. I'm assuming I would just cook these like I've learned to cook other grits. So first things first, we're soaking the grits, one cup of grits for 20 minutes while I get the rest of this together. So while that's happening, my first order of business is gonna be to cook some turkey bacon. Turkey bacon and the grease left over is the same pan you wanna cook your shrimp in. And you're gonna laugh at me, but the truth is that I have never in my life cooked bacon, turkey or non-turkey bacon. Turkey bacon, turkey bacon, turkey bacon, smell it booming. So that's what we have going on here. Now, in the pan that I cooked all this bacon in, that's a good little start for what I'm gonna do next. You know, I like mushrooms a lot, both recreationally and dining. I wanna cut some green onions. Nope, these are green peppers. Nope, these are green. This is a green onion. No? What is this? It's something green that I know it. Huh? They're the same thing, right? These are green scallions, aka green onions, okay? For those of you confused that there, because I was just confused a second ago. That's gonna need to get chopped up. We are going to chop up a couple of garlic cloves. It's like me shooting free throws without looking. And I'm also gonna use some garlic paste because I like my shit really garlicky, so no women want to be around me afterwards. These are all just nice little additions to what we were trying to have go on here, okay? A very light simmer. What we're doing is we're gonna prepare the liquid that makes the, uh, that, that you boil your grits in. The biggest problem is I don't see any measuring. Jesus. I'm just gonna have to do this the old fashioned way. With this tiny little measuring cups, I can't find the regular ones. Everything in my life is a mess today. So I know that I'm gonna need three and a half cups of water. How do I remember that? 3.5 is an eighth of weed. So I need an eighth of water. I need 1.5 cups of heavy cream, so that's almost an eighth, right? And then this is two cups right here of whipping cream, heavy whipping cream. So this you just gotta just really open up and throw it right on in. Although, grits absorb water, broth, and milk much better than cream. So if you like yours with whipping cream, just add a touch at the end to soothe out the texture. Hmm. Hold on, the heavy cream comes after I put the grits in. Jump. Jump. Oh shit! It's boiling for our first disaster of the day. We're gonna wanna bring this to a nice simmer. Okay, that's gotta go down. And now it's time to put your grits in. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm hungry. Don't get a crab's with other shapes. To whisk the, um, the non-good grits off, so that just went to shit. <laughs> you can't laugh at me! <laughs> the one thing I kept reading is pay attention to your grits. Pay attention to your grits like it's your wifey. Every couple of minutes, check in. Babe, you okay? So I have a base of garlic, onion, and mushrooms, right? That I've been letting saute for a bit. It smells good, right? I think it's time for the shrimp. Yeah. So 
on to my most dreaded part of the day. Deveining shrimp. Oh, I see it. So you, you're supposed to take the, the shell off first. <laughs> this is traumatizing. Oh, wow. The, so the sh Okay, so I learned something right now. If you pull it by the tail, the entire shell will come off with those feet included, so you don't have to pick each one off. So that's one good little piece of, of, of info. Now, you see that little shit vein? Okay, that's a, uh, I don't know what they call the vein, but you slice it right down the middle. Look, I'm doing it. Okay, this is like a science experiment, and I did not sign up for this. I signed up to be on Munchies cooking dishes, I didn't know. But they want to see me dissect a frog, so they'll see me dissect a frog. And the good news is, is we've only done three, and it's been about five minutes, and there's about 40 more shrimp, so we're making great time, really. Say goodbye to the doo-doo. Last little piece of doo-doo. And now my favorite part, seasoning. Cayenne pepper. I'm gonna throw in some curry powder. Need some salt. There we go. A lot of pepper. Pepper's my shit. Red pepper flakes. Again, I like my shit spicy. You throw those in there. I'm gonna put a little more butter in that motherfucker. Okay. Lemons go in. A little lemon juice. I feel great about the shrimp. I know it's going to come out incredibly good. Here's what we're doing with the bacon. Check me out, young combs. Nice crispy bacon. If you notice, zoom in, the texture of the grits has really changed since we put these in. They're, they're nice and creamy now. They're getting softer. Let's grate some cheddar cheese, shall we? needs to be stirred. The last thing I'm gonna do, okay, we have, we, we put our cheddar cheese in, we whip these, we put butter in, is I'm just gonna add a tiny bit of heavy whipping cream to the end. And then you let this sit for another two minutes. Look, nothing crazy, just enough to, you know, get it in there where it can make it a little heavier. Still looks a little watery, doesn't it? Let's throw one more clump in there for good measure. Okay, I think I'm gonna plate this instead of put it in a bowl. Unless I put it in like a see-through bowl. The grits feel good enough. Bad grits are just like watery and not, not lumped together. Gotta be lumpy. Not maybe the best we're gonna find out, but I'm excited to try. This might be my best presentation yet. I didn't know better, I'd say that my shrimp are sinking. To top it off, because I didn't come here to play. A little lemon. We're gonna do a little Frank's Red Hot and a little Parmesan cheese. We're done. Spicy Cajun shrimp with cheese grits. It looks good, but looks can be deceiving. I don't know if I nailed this. I don't know if I didn't nail it. Ooh, it's hot. Ooh. <laughs> Wow. So the grits are really good. They're thick. They're exactly how I wanted them. They're thick and creamy, not clumpy. I'm excited to see what you think. That's a real plate. We're not asking if it's a real plate. We want that rating. We want that. <laughs> you gave me a 6.5 on the chicken. I want the rating. We'll bump you up to a 7.58. You know, I'm always going to be hard. I, the presentation to me is in out of this world. The presentation sunk. That dish is 10 minutes old. Look at the presentation on this. What are you talking about? So seven and a half, eight, I'm not mad at that. Yeah, but to sit, but to take a point away from my presentation, of course yeah. it's not gonna look good, it's sunk in. Take your camera back, give me my meal. And everything I've made so far by far the most challenging. And I appreciate all of you for checking me out. Recipe for disaster did not turn into that much of a disaster this go around. Peace, y'all. I'll do it again. <laughs> what the
the fuck is so funny? You're distracting me. Why was that funny? What did I do that was funny? No, like, come on. You're laughing at me. You're not laughing no, at me. No, I'm with you. You're, I'm, you're this destroying is exciting. my confidence. This is exciting. Is the bucket hat? No, you look great in the bucket hat.